Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for being here today for this great event to launch the Clackamas Shuttles. Um, I'd like to start off by saying a big thank you to everyone who came out today uh, to celebrate this new Clackamas County Connect shuttle service. My name is Brenda Durbin. I'm the director of Clackamas County Social Services. And we know through our work that transportation can be a huge barrier for so many county residents if they're trying to seek jobs or services or social opportunities. That last mile can be a huge barrier for so many. So that's why this service is gonna be so important. Uh, these shuttles will help fill the first and last mile transit gaps in both Oregon City and the Clackamas industrial area. Planning for these services has, has literally been going on for years um, and the funding provided by House Bill 2017 has finally allowed all these planning efforts to come into fruition. So to start things off, I'd like to join, uh, invite Commissioner uh, Paul Sabas uh, to present some opening remarks for us today. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Brenda. Welcome, everyone. Um, Glad you're all here today. Um, I'm Clackamas County Commissioner Paul Savas, and uh, first of all, I can't, as Brenda alluded to, this has been a work in progress since uh, 2017 when the House, when the legislature passed uh, HB 2017. We got some new funding, um, and we are launching one of the first projects. So we're really excited about this. Um, in a nutshell, this project is designed to build the last mile between transit commuters um, and their homes and transit services and to provide a strong level of transit service in Clackamas County. We knew and we know there are underserved areas in the, in the Clackamas County still today, and our goal is to remedy that. Uh, the first shuttle will provide um, local connections to those underserved portions of Oregon City. The route includes stops at Clackamas Community College, Oregon City Public Library, the Pioneer Community Center, and Providence Willamette Falls Medical Center, um, and the Oregon City Transit Center, and the Oregon City Shopping Center. So that's a lot of connections. Um, the shuttle will run every 90 minutes uh, from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. Uh, the second shuttle uh, will provide connections to the Clackamas industrial area, providing riders with better access to jobs in the industrial area off of Highway 212. Uh, the route will start and finish at Clackamas Town Center, uh, allowing people better connections to TriMet services. The shuttle will provide a commuter-friendly sh uh, schedule Monday through Friday from 4.45 in the morning to 8.45 um, uh, a.m. Uh, and then again in the afternoon from 1.30 uh, p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And on weekends, the shuttle will serve every uh, early morning hours that TriMet doesn't currently offer, which are between 4.45 and 8.45 a.m. I also want to take a moment to say the majority of the riders of this shuttle are the backbone of the business community here in Clackamas County. Uh, they work in warehouses, doctor's offices, um, grocery stores, and all small businesses. Uh, Clackamas County is a better place to live, work, and play. And because of their dedicated work right here in our community, uh, again, we're thrilled that we can have this uh, new shuttle service to eliminate barriers and give our fellow county residents and workers an easier time uh, getting to and from where they need to go. On behalf of Clackamas County, my fellow county commissioners, and the employees at Clackamas County, I want to say thank you to all the partners that made, made this happen, um, including um, the help of TriMet, uh, the Oregon Department of Transportation, the City of Oregon City, uh, North Clackamas Chamber of Commerce, and many others. We would not have been, um, we would not have been uh, able to provide these shuttles without the help of all the local residents and all the help. So thank you so much. And with that, I will turn this over to Oregon City Major, uh, Mayor Rachel Lyle Smith. Thank you, Commissioner Savas. I'm very happy to be here today and excited to launch the Clackamas County Connect Shuttle service in Oregon City. Uh, I would like to express my thanks and appreciation for the great partnership that we have with Clackamas County. We have needed this shuttle for a very long time. Uh, one of the City Commission goals is to have a thriving community for everyone. And what this really translates to is actions that are on the ground to, to ensure that we reach those in our community who need transit the most to carry out their day-to-day -day activities. 
And that really means that we're talking about those who rely on transit to live, work, and play in and around our community. So Oregon City also has a long-term goal to protect and preserve our environmental health. This project reduces the number of vehicles on the road, congestion, and emissions in our community. It is a true example of how transit projects can improve the overall transportation system, provide direct benefits to our residents, and is a small step forward in improving our natural environment. If you have experienced our existing transit service in Oregon City, you will no, no doubt have noticed that the service is limited to a few central corridors. This shuttle will provide connections in areas of Oregon City, particularly in residential areas that do not currently have transit service. This shuttle will address the difficulties in transit access in communities such as ours that have steep inclines. And it will work to reduce fragmentation between services by providing better connections between the Oregon City Transit Center, the Clackamas Community College, and employers. We have been discussing additional transit service within Oregon City for many years, and we are excited to see Clackamas County Connect Shuttle serving our community. In closing, I look forward to additional Clackamas County and Oregon City partnerships that improve our transportation system, supplement that system with more multimodal options, and enhance the community that we both share. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Karen Criswell. I'm the Public Transportation Division Administrator for ODOT. Commissioner Savas, Mayor's Lyle Smith, um, community. It's a, it's a really wonderful day here in Clackamas County. Um, I wanted to take the opportunity on behalf of ODOT and Director Chris Strickler to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today about our collaborative efforts um, to expand public transportation throughout Clackamas County. With the passage of the landmark House Bill 2017, the Oregon legislator lecture made an unprecedented and historic investment in Oregonians. This investment included a new statewide payroll tax dedicated to state grant programs specifically intended to enhance and expand public transportation throughout Oregon, with a particular emphasis on serving those experiencing low incomes, on improving and reducing greenhouse gas emissions through expansion of transit fleets uh, to low and no emission and also on serving um, students as well as improving connections between communities. Uh, it's really rewarding for me like this is 100% what it's all about getting transit service on the road to serve the community. Uh, I was really excited when Teresa um, Christofferson whom I've worked with for a long time invited me here to be able to come and to chat just a little bit with you all today. In the spirit of House Bill 2017's intent, Clackamas County's two new transit shuttle services will fill the gaps that have already been mentioned, both within the local community uh, as well as between local and regional services. Um, these shuttles will connect people to jobs, education, and vital services, and they are two great examples of local communities addressing needs of residences, residents and businesses and prioritizing improvements for people that depend on transit. These projects also create new transportation options for the community that reduce reliance on personal vehicles and help manage congestion in our growing region. ODOT is excited to see these new services come alive and I congratulate the community, um, local officials, staff members and partners who have committed to turning these funds into services that will have meaningful lasting benefits. Looking ahead, ODOT continues to pursue go growth and innovation for public transportation in Clackamas County and throughout the state. For example, ODOT is collaborating with SMART and Wilsonville to launch the state's second bus on shoulder pilot project in fall of 2021. This uh, bus on shoulder pilot will provide improved car connections along the I-5 corridor. And the first phase of the I-205 improvements will begin next year with construction on the Abernathy Bridge. When those I-205 improvements are completed, bus on shoulder service will be possible between West Lynn and Oregon City if needed. ODOT remains committed to supporting local transit agencies and partners that work towards 
a holistic mobility strategy that will equitably serve Clackamas County and all Oregonians. Um, in closing, I just want to thank Clackamas County again for leading in this space and for their partnership with Oregon City as well as TriMet. Thank you for your dedication and we really applaud and thank you for all of the work that you're doing to improve the community. Thank you. Commissioner, Mayor, Karen, thank you so much for your comments today and for being here. I think this project is just such an example, a great example of what we can do when we all work together for a common goal. Um, I don't want to miss the opportunity to thank one other key a player in this work. Uh, Christina Babcock is Social Services Transit Coordinator, and she played a huge role in making all this happen. Thank you so much, Christina. Um, so on behalf of Clackamas County, thank you all for coming out today, this beautiful, getting sort of warm uh, afternoon. Um, it's been mentioned so many times before, nothing like this can happen without partners, including um, Oregon City, North Clackamas Chamber of Commerce, ODOT, and so many others. So we're not going to have a ribbon cutting today. We're going to have a, a bus starting. Um, so we do have a, a certified driver. So if anyone is interested, we have some masks so we can be compliant uh, with uh, the transportation requirements around masking. But if anyone would like a short tour around the neighborhood in our brand new, uh, lovely design bus, I welcome you to, to step on board um, and be among the first riders uh, to participate in the Clackamas shuttle service. Thank you all for being here today.